Hey guys, Mushroom Decker here, and today I have another Lego video. Yeah, I have made a butterfly knife out of Legos, inspired by the Spy from Team Fortress 2. So it's really good sometimes when it's cooperating, and it's just overall really good. And just I'll show you the mechanics here in a second. Like it's not really all that hard to make at all. Like you can make one of these in about maybe five minutes or less. Um, it's really, really good. As you see this little blade right here and the two but butterfly handles. I, I like to be not colorful with my creation. I'm, oops. I'm kind of lazy about like my creation sometimes. Like, ah, I don't have enough colors for these. And sometimes I don't have enough colors to make one standard type thing. Like in this case, I I had two yellows and two grays. Like I only had two grays and three yellows. So like the best I could do is two grays and two yellows. So yeah, that's all I could really do. Like the side right here, like you can see like the black. And if I show you the inside, like they're different colors and different sizes. It's because I cannot find the other sizes for this butterfly knife like the same size as one so yeah not really sure if that made sense or not but like the turning mechanism is pretty cool sometimes really annoying like i i'm surprised that i actually managed to do this because i saw the the meet the spy video again or meet the scout or whatever the butterfly knife appears in uh yeah so um and i was like it would be really cool if i could make that out like so i did the first time it failed well it didn't really fail um, it was unique, so like it was, it was, it was a bit different. So um, so yeah, like it did not work out as well as I wanted it to. So I customized it a bit, and I made it a lot better than the than the one that I had before. So as you see, like if you move this, the blade gonna move a bit. Like just. Be careful from that when you're playing around with it. Also, don't try to attack anyone or playfully attack anyone with it. Because it really can hurt. Like, I'm hitting my knuckles multiple times just by opening and closing the thing, like, super fast. So, like, for instance, like, that hit my knuckles. I'm not really sure if you guys can see, but, like, I'm hitting my knuckles sometimes. So, yeah. Um, enough me yammering. Let's actually get on with the mechanism itself. So, um, right here we have a little latch type thing. So, if I take this off, and if I actually take the the uh, the axle off, I can actually show you what it does. All right, so I actually got this from like the um, the robot thing or whatever. Um, I don't know what to call it, like the the factory bots or whatever they're called. Uh, I got this piece and I said this would be perfect for my butterfly knife. So I found this. It has two of those plus sign holes on the side and one of those circles on the top. Um, and then what I did was, hang on, I can't get it out, ah. anyways, um, it's one of those pieces with like the plus sign on there and the circle on the top, and I just took one of these cylinders with the plus sign and I just like stuck the plus sign in there. And I just took that and I just put it in that hole on the top. Not not the plus signs, but like the hole on the top. So I did that. And then this green blade also came with the my with the little robots or not robots, but like the little um, action figure Lego factory bots. Um, and I just and since they're both plus sign, I'll, you know, obvious. Um, then what I did was like I took two of these, it's probably about uh inch, inch and a half long, I I would say. Um I stuck one 
into that about halfway. Into one of the plus signs about halfway. Put another piece into it to the other side until we have something kind of like this, kind of like a little stand for a sword or something. Um, and then next, what I did was I took um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Uh, I took a fifteen hole si side hole type thing, um, and then I like just stuck one of them on like one of the things, and then like this. Um, and I took a single hole side. I just like stuck it there also, you know, just to go along with holes or whatever. Um, actually, we need this hole right there. Um, this part right here does not need to have the holes. Just in general, it has to be that long. And then just like a one hole piece right there. This has to be a hole. Anyways, you're going to do that two, three more times. Three more times. Um, until you eventually get something... That looks kind of like this. Kind of like a little Lego octopus type thing, but without eight legs. So then what you're going to do... Um, hang on, I missed a piece. Yeah, alright. So you just, like, you have your little Lego octopus or whatever. Um, and then you're going to take these little, uh, the, the tiny plus sign cylinders... And you're just gonna like secure, oops, whatever it went. All right, here it is. Um, take the little plus sign cylinder and just secure all of the sides so like none of your things fall out. You're gonna do that for all four sides until you eventually, uh, where's the other piece right here? Until you eventually get something like this like you still have your octopus but like none of the things are falling off now and um so yeah you're gonna want to have the thing like you're gonna t spread these out a bit and then you're gonna want the stick or the blade to to go side to side like the blade itself to go side to side with these sides kind of like that i don't really know how to explain and then you're gonna take the three hole and then you're gonna, this is where this hole comes in to play. Alright, um, so you are going to put one in one hole, and then just the other end in that hole right there. Uh, and then you're gonna have something kind of like this, so when the blade comes down, it fits nicely in there. Now, as you see, if we did not have that, it would be like right on the edge of that, and we, and we would not want that. So it's just like right there, just not even touching the blue. That That's exactly what we want. And then we're gonna take another blue stick and do it to the other side also. And that will wrap it up for building your butterfly knife. So yeah. Kind of, kind of gets kind of annoying, in sometimes. So yeah. So I'm actually gonna show you a little trick that you can do with this. Uh, it's the spy's little trick that he does. So you're gonna hold one end right here. You're gonna hold one end of your Lego butterfly knife, kind of like this, and you're just gonna let it go and then when you let it go you have to like swing you're gonna want it to swing down kind of around your wrist like make sure it doesn't lock into place like it is right now because that's just like super annoying so uh, i can't do it all right hang on i'm gonna have to forcefully make it yeah here we go so it's kind of like that and then you're just gonna like just um, you're going to take your thumb, you're going to drop it, you're going to drop the other part right here, and then you're going to catch this side with your thumb, 
and then you're just gonna take this and then just flick it up and then you have that so yeah there you go Lego butterfly knife yeah really cool and then just yeah just it's a butterfly knife it's awesome so yeah, that's gonna wrap it up for this video. So yeah, the wonderful life of the ceiling mushroom. Have time to collect it and keep those jump shine armor. Go out. Oh, thank you guys for watching.